Okay, it's winter and I don't really use this caravan much in the winter so I thought this was a a full light um, to say that the cassette's full but it, it's like a switch so I'm not too sure what that is so because it doesn't it's not the flusher because you twist that there to flush it and to open the the uh, the bowl um, down there I've got the cassette out at the moment I'll show you the reason why I think it's not the light because um, I can't actually see a reed switch or anything like that to tell that it's full. Go out and have a look outside. Up at the wiring there. That's for the pump and that follows down at the back there. And usually there's a reed switch in the middle there which act activates with a magnet um, inside your fit for tank so maybe this is an older version and it doesn't have that so what I might do just to confirm is give this all a big clean out take this apart um, and have a look inside yeah I'll pull it apart give it a clean out see if there's a, a magnet of any sorts in there definitely needs a good clean out so yeah Okay, I don't know really what that is now. Maybe some of you guys out there can let me know. Maybe it's an old flush button, but it's been modified somehow. I don't know. So I know what this does, opens up the tank, this here is to release the airlock when you empty it, but this here, what's that about? I'm not sure, it's got springs in there as well so Maybe that's an old, some sort of old switch. Maybe it's just an air vent, I'm not sure. Maybe a pressurizer when it gets too pressurized in there, it just releases some air. She looks like she needs a clean out, all right. There's definitely no ball cock or um, now that's just like a valve, pressure valve of some sort. Uh, there's definitely no. Um, reed switch or magnet ball cock or anything like that so it must be an older version so I wonder what that uh, thing is on the toilet in there maybe if one of you guys can let me know it would be brilliant I've given it all a clean out that rub is surprisingly in good shape still uh, maybe it's been replaced before this is definitely pressure relief valve I, was, I had some hot water in there and detergent shaking it around and you can see it release when it got pressurized so I'll put some give that a dry off and put some olive oil around, around the rubber and stick it back together
got to clean out as good as I could get it. A few rusted screws down there. They should have been really stainless just down there. All right, we'll put it back together. I might go in there and just turn the electrics on, see what does happen. I'm pretty sure I've done that before. So that's the flush. What is this? Doesn't do anything. We just assumed it was a light. Okay, I was reviewing the video and that's that switch from inside, so I can't really see it from here, so. But that could be a reed switch of some sort or some sort of magnetic switch. But I can't see any wires going to it. Maybe they are internal. Yeah, yeah it moves, so what's that about? too dark but that there that there wouldn't go up there so I pushed it and it went tink as if it was jammed but I wonder what that is it is definitely some sort of switch really know. Yeah, okay, it definitely is a, uh, a float full switch because I just pulled this part out a bit and you can see green and orange on there up the top. See that? I hope you can see that. So when it gets full it switches to red or orange and when it's good it's green. And I double checked this here. I thought, well, there must be a magnet in there. There you go. So there is a magnet in there. It's, it's not very strong. Oh, yes. Yeah, I suppose it doesn't need to be just to turn that piece of plastic. Awesome. Solved. Hopefully I can get it to work. Right, I uh, found out that it was a switch to say that it's full. And the reason why we couldn't see it is because some bugger's gone and siliconed over it. You can see it. I, I put a rag up there to show a colour. There we go. Orange, red, saying it's full. Why did they do that? There's no way it can leak. Um, nothing in there to leak. Maybe they did that to sell it it was jammed like when I got under there and had a look it was jammed one way so this might have been jammed on red all the time I'll uh, go and change it around to green see how we go but still um, how does the magnet work there must not too sure about that inside if there's some sort of float that I missed so 
and I've switched it over to the other side and jabbed it in with a rag and now it's showing green. It's got a plastic cover on there. So I'm not too sure why they would have silicon that. Yeah. Oh well, I'll fill it up with water and see if it actually changes when I put it all together. Right, we'll fill it up with the garden hose and see if things change from green to red. So that's just the cassettes in there normally, which you'd expect it to show green. It's 20 litres, so it's just going slow. Look at that. <coughs> There's nothing wrong with it except it's jammed switch. Oh, that doesn't actually work too well because that's, you hear that overflowing inside. Yeah, that overflowed a little bit, so maybe there's some, just needs a bit more freeing up. with a bit of acetone get all that silicon off so it's a done job fixed so all it really was was a sticky uh, magnet switch so instead of them the last person that owned this uh, couldn't be bothered checking it out they just covered it in silicon and forgot about it hope this helps some of you guys with the older Tetford switches so if you like this give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. Cheers guys.